you were mentioning that um, the United Farm Worker uh, Cesar Chavez UFW thing was a, personally came home to you because you were married to a uh, your wife is from the Fresno area and yeah. the Jays are have been historically really involved in agriculture and yeah. still are to a large degree. Yeah. So, I mean, how did that play? I mean, how did you, how did you mm. talk to the uh, you know the, the the guys from the packing shed? Or, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Well, I can't say, you know, I went, I went down there to try to convert anybody. It was, it was hard enough even talking to my father and mother-in-law. But um, I guess I always felt justified in my position that certainly if you just look at the recent history in, in the current situation, the Japanese-American uh, farmers would identify more with the the cause of against the union and so on, and with and ally with all the other uh, farmers. But if they take a larger view, going back even a few years or to the grandparents, and and go back to where they came from, that there's no way that they could feel separate from the uh, Chicano uh, farm laborers because that was them. And just uh, that's what their grand their parents were there, and how could they? Uh, if they justify the inhumane treatment of the uh, Mexican laborers, then in a way they're justifying the same treatment of their own parents and grandparents. So, <clears throat> uh, I know at some point they used to have a, a, the uh, Nisei farm workers there had an annual luau, and then a free trip to Hawaii at the end for the winter, and they canceled that to go to Vegas instead because they were so mad at us in Hawaii for picketing. Even the yeah. State legislature passed a resolution supporting the UFW in Hawaii, you know? and this had a lot to do with uh, their own struggles with farm labor and, and all that, you know. And a lot of the when the problem is in California, Hawaiians could see the see it much more clearly, right? What's where the uh, uh, the pure standpoint is, rather than where their own dollars are kind of mm -hmm. sunk into it. So I think the Hawaii people understood the plight of the Mexican laborers because they could see it in their own history and they, their income didn't depend on that, right? directly anyway. So, uh, yeah, there was this great anger towards Hawaii. You know, why aren't you with us, right? Mm -hmm. The two great populations of Nikkei, why aren't you supporting us? And so when it played out in families like ours, it was a great deal of tension. but. Whenever we got to this kind of discussion where I could point to the bigger picture and he insisted on seeing the smaller picture, we came to a standstill, but it never turned into hostility because we both could see the validity depending on how we wanted to see the situation in a large lens or a small one. And I, was, I would always chide, I mean, I'd go to their farm and say, you mean you have the workers live in that? Would you live in that? Would you want me to live in that? You know, and then you go, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're, you're embarrassed about your daughter, you know, marrying a poor minister, you know, but I'm richer than any of your workers, you know. So, I didn't say it like that, you know, but still there'd be that kind of give and take, and, and uh, it kept it human. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. yeah.